Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the latest information that we know about the up and coming summer DLC for GTI Online. Now we've been discussing the summer DLC for the past couple of weeks, ever since the rumors started, and the good news is, is that it seems like we are just around the corner from this DLC update finally releasing. So today we're going to be discussing the latest details that we know about the release date for this update and everything you need to know about it. Now before we get into that, make sure to like rating on this video to show your support as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day and right out to the actual video. Now today's shoutout goes to a really awesome company known as Stride Charge. Now they have a really awesome product, which is a phone mount for your bike that allows you to charge your phone wirelessly while you ride. This is especially useful if you're using navigation while you're riding to make sure that that GPS does not drain your battery. And most importantly, the mount itself is super well built and will keep your phone protected. And in addition, it is super easy to attach and detach your phone from the mount. So if you're someone that bikes at all, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a really awesome product and I love how you're able to easily wirelessly charge your phone with just a touch of a button. So make sure to click the first link in the description down below to check out this Stride Charge website, see what they're all about, and order one for yourself today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as we've been discussing for the last couple of weeks, Rockstar Games has been hard at work on a brand new GTA Online DLC that is going to be presumably this year's summer update. Now so far this year in 2022, we have not received any major DLC updates in GTA Online, so this one is definitely going to be one that a lot of people including myself are looking forward to. Now originally this update was supposed to release in mid-June at the very start of summer, however due to unknown reasons this update was unfortunately delayed until July. Now so far we have not known when this update will be releasing in July, however there is a big piece of information that we found out that really gives it away based on everything we know so far about how Rockstar has handled past DLCs in GTA Online. Now usually what Rockstar does is for any kind of reward updates, including podium vehicles, two times money and RP on certain missions, and all of those additional rewards that change week over week in GTA Online, Rockstar likes to add them a few weeks in advance so they don't need to push a new update into the game every single week. These simply have a time trigger on them so when it reaches that time, one turns off and the other one it turns on. Now based on past DLCs, we know that whenever Rockstar stops doing these updates and we see a cutoff date with no additional rewards being pushed after, that means a new update is likely coming soon that will contain the weeks ahead of these reward updates. Now according to test funds, which as most of you probably already know by now is a super reliable source for GTA Online news, he was able to see that the new GTA Plus rewards and bonuses are only lasting until July 18th, and he says that presumably the new DLC will likely be releasing on July 19th. Now, to add even more to the story, July 19th is a Tuesday, and of course, Tuesdays are the exact day of the week when Rockstar likes to release new updates into their games. So while this isn't a 100% confirmation that the summer DLC will be releasing on July 19th, it lines up with all of the rumors that we have heard so far, as well as a tweet from of course Tez Funds, and as we know from previous updates, this is exactly what Rockstar has been doing over the years, and it seems like everything is coming together to be on July 19th. Now, if July 19th is actually the date, we should expect Rockstar to be revealing this DLC with a trailer and a blog post either later this upcoming week or the week after at the latest. So make sure to keep an eye on the Rockstar Games Newswire, the Rockstar Games social media, and of course this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding all of that. Now this is the only major update worth sharing at the moment, so far we have not received any new justifiable information about what the actual content of this update will be. Now as I've discussed in a handful of my recent videos, there's been a ton of rumors about what this update will be, however nothing has been confirmed so far. 
The most likely scenario is the Movie Studio DLC that we have discussed previously. That is really the only DLC that was actually leaked directly from in-game code, but as always, it is not confirmed that code within the game is actually going to equal an update. For example, we saw Casino DLC code years before the actual release of the Casino DLC, so it's very possible that it could not happen for this case too. We're going to have to wait and see, and Rockstar Games has done a very good job at keeping this DLC and the content within it very private and secretive. Now of course the good news is, is that according to all of these rumors and everything we know so far, it seems like that this update is just around the corner, so it shouldn't be too long until we can find out what this update is actually going to be. Now my personal bet is definitely on the Movie Studio update. As I mentioned, it is the only update that has been leaked so far with actual in-game code behind it. However, as usual, it is very possible that Rockstar could throw a complete curveball at us and release something totally different. So the bottom line here is that July 19th is the date to look out for, at least at the moment, and we should be expecting a reveal if that date is in fact correct, either sometime later this week or early next week at the latest. But let me know in those comments down below, how do you feel about the alleged July 19th release date? Do you think it's going to happen? Do you think it's not? Do you have an alternate date which you predict? Any and all thoughts you have about this and more, let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching and you learned something new and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding GTA Online, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.